everybody wants to create the best AI chatbot at the moment. And that is great for us users because Microsoft, Google, OpenAI, they're all fighting to be the best and the fastest chatbot that we, the customers, can use. So today I will try out Bing Chat from Microsoft to see if this is actually worth your time. And did you know this is actually based on GPT-4 from ChatGPT? So normally you need to pay to use GPT-4, but with this, with Bing, you get it fully free. So here they call it the new Bing, your AI powered co-pilot for the web. So here they give three examples and you can choose the conversation style. So I can do more balanced, more precise or more creative. So I'm just curious how it's going to do. And what I know from Bing is that it's more like a chatbot. So it's more going to have a conversation with you. I asked Bing for a write me a resignation letter. So this is the question. I need help writing a resignation letter. Let's see what it does. And Bing AI is more of a chatbot. So let's see what it says. Sure, I can help you with that. Do you have any specific questions or concerns about writing a resignation letter? So it's more questioning, it's more talking with you. Help me with the setup. So Bing is really interacting with me to get the proper result. So let's see what it says. I'm sorry to hear you, I can help you. Do you have any specific questions or concerns about the process? I have no questions, I just wanted to write the letter. So it gives some information. So here are some general tips for writing a resignation letter. Keep it brief and professional, all this stuff. And then I have to write, can you write it for me? Sure, I can help you with that. Can you provide me with some information about your job and your employer? This will help write a more personalized letter. And here they already give some suggestions. I work as driver and um, scared AI will become the new taxi drivers. And right now here, it's actually creating a sample resignation letter. So that is nice. So it's really guiding you to where you need to go. So it's not right away writing it because ChatGPT actually would write the whole letter just with the first question. But this is also good, right? It's asking you more questions. It even says you can modify this letter. Let me know if you need any further assistance. There are some other things that we can do. And we have the more precise, the more balanced and more cre creative. So if I go to more creative, they already give like three random things. Let's write a poem. So it's already giving some suggestions, but I just want to know, give me five things to do in Amsterdam. So right now, let's see if it can help me to really create my travel itinerary. Here are some suggestions for things to do in Amsterdam based on your location results and travel search results. So here you see what it uses. It shows all the links, so you can click on it and then you open the website that it gets the information from. And what is actually super nice is, okay, we got the answer, have the five things, and then we have the links even, you know, you can click on it. And then we have the link right away to the attraction. And what is more crazy, we even have a little map here and it has all the five things that it mentioned right here on the map. So I can go to website or directions. It all has it ready. That's pretty impressive to have it right here in one app and you don't have to go somewhere else. So you can even ask for how do I get tickets for these attractions. So you keep talking and it's gonna keep helping you. It's getting all the information from the websites online. It's just keep going and it's pretty impressive. But this is not all it can do, it can do more. So for instance, in the creative mode, not in the other modes, but in the creative mode, it can even create images with DALL-E from OpenAI. So I just asked for create an image of a mushroom in the forest. So here we have a mushroom in a forest made by Bing Image Creator powered by Dolly. And if you click on it, it opens. You can download it and share it. And it is not the most impressive, it's like not, not mid-journey level images, but this is already super cool that you just can have it right there in your chat. Just quickly, before I continue in the video, remember to subscribe, that really helps me and you will get a lot more AI content videos. I want to have some more statistic based facts from Bing. How many people lived in New York the past 10 years? So you see that it's searching for a New York population by year. So it's showing how much it was in 2021, how much in 2010. And this is what you can do in the Bing chat right here in the chat. But if I go to the right here and I press this little Bing button on the top right, something else opens. So here you see chat. And right here, you also have the chat right away. If you're on another website and quickly want to talk to Bing, you can just press on this button right here and the chat opens up here. It's like having a Bing extension just in your browser. But there's another thing that they also have going on here. And that is, if you go to the top, Compose. And Compose is kind of like Cohesive as well. I have a full video on Cohesive. I put the link in the description or right here in the top. 
and can watch that. And it's kind of like a AI write helper, like Jasper, like write Sonic, like Cohesive. And for instance, here I can type something. So write about future of AI tech in the world in a funny way. And here I can do a tone. So here you can also do funny. So I'm going to do a double funny. And you can select the format. So paragraph, email, blog post, ideas. I can make it short, medium, and long. I'm gonna go for a long paragraph. If you want to write emails or articles, then this is really what you should use most, the compose part. If you want to just have a conversation with AI chatbot, ask questions, get information, then the normal chat is better for you. Here we have our paragraph. The future of AI tech in the world is bright and hilarious. Imagine a world where robots can do everything humans can do, but better and faster. Not sure, <laughs> doesn't sound too funny. But anyway, we have our text right here. You have the button add to site right here. So where your mouse is clicking on any website can be in Google Docs, can be in Word, can be in Gmail if you wrote the email with this. Then just press add to site and right here just get pasted right where your cursor is clicked. So that's a really easy way to get your content from Compose into where you are working or what you're busy with. To put Bing really to the test, I'm gonna ask it to write some code for my own portfolio website with pictures. So I'm curious what it comes up with. So it's really specific, right? So we just ask write HTML code for my personal image portfolio called Max. And right here, the answer that we got is sure, I can write some HTML code for you. And the nice thing is, is that Bing is just a free GPT-4, you know? So it just works great. Here it's ready, so let's see what it did. I can copy this. And I'm just gonna go to Notepad. And if you have something on the Mac, just pages or anything or notes, you can just use that. And make sure that you save it as .html. And right here I have my portfolio. So it just says Max's image portfolio. And we have six images. And of course they don't work because we didn't specify what images Google should use. But the nice thing is Bing AI is connected to the internet. So can I ask it to pull images from there and put it in a script? So here we have the HTML code and I'm just gonna answer, add two buttons below my name in the script and also replace minimalist pictures from Google in the images above. So maybe I could have wrote it a bit more clear for Bing, but let's see what it comes up with because if it does this, that's pretty cool, that's pretty good. Okay, the new script is ready, so let me copy that. And I'm just gonna go to Notepad again and save it and see how it looks. And wow, that's pretty nice. So I don't think it's minimal images. But we already have uh, the buttons here, they don't work. Here we have the images and this is pretty crazy, right? So even after the script right here, Bing added some images right here that they searched for. And what is nice is because it's talking to you and helping you, it even gives other options here. Like can you add animations to the buttons and can you make the images responsive? So you can really keep going, keep going and improve the script. And that is Bing AI, it's free and it works great. And honestly for me, we, it's hard to say this one is better, that one is the best. Because ChatGPT, you have to pay $20 a month if you want to use ChatGPT Plus. So that's for a lot of people already a no-go. Then Bing is powered on GPT-4, it's totally free. It works really great. So this one might be something that a lot of people want to try out. But the annoying thing is you have to use it on Edge. And of course, you also have Bart AI that got fully updated from Google. I have a recent video right here or in the description. And that one also did great. So we're really in a position where we are getting many AI chatbots, but to see which one is gonna be the best is gonna take some time because they need to improve more. They need to differentiate more. To be honest, right now, Bing AI is actually in a pretty great spot. So it's free, try it out. And let me know in the comments if you are also surprised by the things that Bing AI could do. And also subscribe because I make a lot more AI content videos. See you next time.